Tonight, local Vietnam veterans are demanding better health care. Many are protesting down the shore to raise awareness about the issue. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan tells us decades later, some are still battling a deadly enemy. I filed for the Agent Orange claim. I shake too much. His hands barely able to shuffle a few pages of paperwork. I got Parkinson's, diabetes, uh, whatever. Like so many Vietnam veterans, when it comes to health care, Harry Weimer has been extremely frustrated with the Veterans Administration for decades. The Agent Orange physical examination, that was 1982. I haven't heard back since. Wildwood's Vietnam Memorial Wall is a smaller version of the one in Washington. More than 58,000 names of Americans killed in the war. But experts say countless more have become casualties of Agent Orange, a herbicide used to destroy the jungle. Our friends are dying and they're not knowing that they're dying from this. And now it's affecting our kids. Vets held a rally last weekend in Wildwood demanding the VA recognize and treat more health problems for Agent Orange, something Congressman Frank Lobiano has put in legislation that Congress has yet to move through committee. I'm hopeful that the entire Congress will get behind it because it is the right thing to do. But these Cape May County vets have another issue. They don't have the providers there to take care of us. There are very few clinics and no VA hospitals in South Jersey. I mean, you got to drive 83 miles to Wilmington. Just this week, the Veterans Administration acknowledged that as recently as October last year, they had almost no partnerships with doctors in South Jersey. But they say a lot's changed, and now they have more than 220 providers in their network. This map on their website shows offices near Wildwood, and Lobiondo says the Cape Regional Medical Center will soon partner with the VA. These vets want to see how the newly promised services actually work and plan another rally on Saturday in Rio Grande. And we're going to keep doing the rallies and hold our feet to the fire. In Wildwood, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.